I think they're gender neutral. It's such a hard question, but I have to say that a biological man cannot be a mother. I think that's a disrespect to mothers all over the world. And the experiences that mothers go through in raising their children is not something that can be bought. It's not something that can be earned. It's something they go from raising up their children, you know, the reason why I find this a very hard topic, because then there's also women out there who can't have children, who then become mothers, and I wouldn't tell them they're not mothers. Mm. But when it comes to a biological man trying to parade that they're part of this womanhood of motherhood, I can't be down with that, I'm afraid. Really? What about you, Hilary? Well, <clears throat> from a very personal point of view, um, I had a stillbirth, um, my first child, I went through pregnancy, I gave birth to her, I held her in my arms, she wasn't alive. And the one thing that comforted me was when people said to me, you're still a mother, you have given birth to this child. And that actually is a de dictionary definition of being a mother as well, is giving birth to a child. Mm. And so for me, it, seeing, seeing you know, men being called, or transgender women being called mothers that haven't been through the experience of pregnancy and giving birth... It, it, for me, it's, it's, an, it's insulting to my experience. It takes something away from my experience and, and the experience of other women who've gone through something like that. Being, being a mother is, is to do with being female. It's about, it's about the placenta. It's about, about the milk. It's about giving birth. It's about carrying a baby in your womb. It's not about just mothering. That's a different... That's, that's, that's a verb. That's not a, not a noun. And I think, yes, you can mother, but that doesn't make you a mother. And yes, you can parent. You can be a parent, but that's still not the same as being a mother. So, yeah, I don't, I don't approve of this. But, of course, uh, most people, David, if a male identified as female, most people would respect the pronouns. You used to be called, used to be called Bob, and now you're called... Margaret, good luck to you. What's the difference if you're a mother or a father? I think the difference is, for all the reasons that uh, Hilary and Stephanie both outline, that it is a gross mockery of motherhood, of all that it entails biologically, hormonally, chemically and mm -hmm. physically, to say that someone dressing up as a, as a woman can be a mother. It's simply in, not the case. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. And I understand the compassion argument. I really do. But it is an excess of compassion that has led us to this situation. It is an excess of courtesy which has meant that we've begun to deny as a society biological truth. There are men and there are women. Fathers fulfill a distinct role. Uh, and again, it has a lot to do with biology. It's a lot to do with the hormonal connection with the child. Women, as mothers, fulfil a distinct role. Those two cannot be interchanged, and those cannot be cosplayed, as it were, by people who think that they are, or have decided as a, uh, that they are uh, of a different sex. They're not, they can't be, and I think if I were a woman, uh, because this is a particularly emotive issue, I should be exceptionally displeased with Tesco and withdraw my custom as a consequence. Uh